Hi Leo, welcome back. This is going to be your next 48, January 16 and 17 for Leo, the Lion and Lion Hearts. Okay, Leo, Summer Rising Venus, North Node for Leos. Okay, what's the message here for Leo? Summer Rising Venus, North Node for the Lion. Okay, Leos, yes. What is this for Leo? All right, this is too much coming out here. Leo. Yeah, the king of wands. Look at you, Leo. All right, it's confident, strong, and beautiful. Yeah, the emperor, impenetrable, fine as hell. Okay, this could be, this could be, um, but whatever this is, you seem to be very confident here. Yeah, look at you again, Leo. The sun card, okay? This is being happy about your career, your decisions, or um, something just seems to be working out really well here for you. Aries, energy, Leo, and Taurus. Yeah, the Hierophant. So you're happy about something. Two of Swords and a Three of Wands. Or you're happy about a decision you did not make or that you waited or that you decided to go in a different direction or something like that. Yeah, the Will of Fortune, King of Swords, Six of Wands. So something is working out here. You're feeling very confident on top. So your business very, very... Um, Somebody here is sexy. This is you, Leo, with the King of Wands. That's you. Boss. Okay, somebody can have a long beard, a gray beard. But whoever this is, yeah, the sun card. Yeah. What's the King of Wands? I opened the deck to the Ace of Pentacles. So there's an opportunity here. And the Ace of Swords, Leo. Okay, and the Queen of Wands. So this is your match. Let's see. What's the King of Wands for Leo? January 16 and 17 for Leo. All right, yeah. Okay, that's about to be. Here you go again, Leo. You're showing up really strong in your, your reading. Really strong. So confident, strength, power. You're unbreakable. You're stern. You're, you're astute. You're standing in your energy. It is what it is. Don't play with me. Don't fuck with me or you got me fucked up is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the Six of Cups. A lot of support here. I'm getting you being very strong, you're confident, you're sexy. You could be a tad bit feeling yourself, okay? But you also are very loving and caring. Yeah, the nine of cups, getting what you want. Yeah, the nine of wands, four of cups, six of pentacles, ten of swords, and two of pentacles with the four of pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like, okay, here we go. Yeah, there's somebody attacking you here or somebody's doing something here. Let's see what this is. All right, I just heard that. Let's go. So support, Six of Cups is being supported, being loved. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. I'm getting strong boundaries with the strength in the Seven of Wands. Who else got this? Could be dealing with a Virgo. I think they got this or something like that. I forgot what sign. Okay, yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Sun, and the Hierophant. Yeah, so something's working out for you. You're good. A strong boundary you're setting with your family, but whatever this business is or whatever this is that you're running, you got you got plenty of money or plenty of people, or I'm just getting that you're setting strong boundaries with motherfuckers here. I'm getting you're being sweet, Six of Cups, loving, understanding, caring, or whatever this is, but you're also setting boundaries here as well. You're not about to play with somebody or you're not about to put some energy. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse of the eight of cups yeah i'm getting you're walking away from a situation you're no longer investing time or energy into this you have the nine of swords and the chariot you're moving on are you setting strong boundaries here with the situation here you're not you're not you're not playing or something like that yeah the two of wands yeah i'm getting you're taking the higher higher road here you're going to set boundaries, but you're going to still be composed here. You're still going to care. You're still going to be with the Six of Cups. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Yeah. So we're going from the Seven of Wands to the Two. So you defending yourself, standing your ground, setting boundaries to Two of Wands. This is planning, taking action. All right. Or if you set boundaries, strong ones, this was a good decision for you. 
that may have been a hard decision simply because of the six of cups somebody's loving or caring or there was support or this is a friend or whatever this is but yeah the two of swords you had to make a tough decision with the two of swords about your future or about something here sun card but you're going to be happy here or about your respect or whatever the fuck this is your business or whatever this is you you had to make it yeah that somebody's going to be disappointed either you or another person yeah the five of cups and the ten of wands with the nine of pentacles ace of cups ten of pentacles so something's going to end if something was a disappointment or a struggle i feel like it's not going to be that anymore you're going to have a solution to your problem the sun keeps showing up here okay or something going to be restored with this government institution or this corporation or whatever the fuck this is but but i'm getting you standing your ground was a good decision here a really good one with the two of wands. Yeah, now somebody wants to negotiate or talk about it. The three of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting you're working on something new or you're doing something new. Now somebody wants to have a conversation with you, uh, Leo, or you do. Yeah, the ten of swords, five of wands. Yeah, the justice. Now somebody wants to dead the competition, the jealousy and hate, and they want to be honest and truthful with you. Could be a Libra or whatever this is. Yeah, the ace of swords and the empress. Yeah, because you're enlightened or you're, or you're, or you're seeing something from a different perspective, or you're, or, or you're just not gonna go back and forth, or whatever the fuck this is. Let's see. Good decision, Leo. Whatever the fuck this is, this is this is too much. You have the nine of swords. Now somebody's worried. Or this is you. You pick what side of it you're on, right? But Leo, your energy is here. So this could be you. Or it could be a Taurus, okay? Or whatever this is, yeah. Okay, we got, yeah, you're indifferent or you don't care about this Taurus or about this, this commitment or the about this institution or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, the Three of Wands and the Will of Fortune because you know your fortune and you know, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles and the Death card. You understand this change that's happening as far as your career or your work or you're, you're okay with that, yeah. The Nine of Swords... This could worry you a bit, but you ultimately know that this is the best decision. It's because it's something new or something that you're taking a leap of faith on. What's the nine of swords? Or this is somebody else. You pick what side of it. Maybe you're making the decision to set boundaries. Somebody's worried about that. This could be somebody from your past you're, you're setting strong boundaries with. You're taking the higher road or you're making the decision that's best for you. Somebody else could be worried about that. Yeah, it could be a cancer. Yeah. With the chariot and the tower. Yeah, you're worried. Or, so, or, or somebody is worried or somebody's going through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the judgment. There's, there you are, Leo, with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups. What's the tower? What's the tower in the chariot? Yeah, the Eight of Wands. So something's blowing up or something's taking off. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Something is happening here. Or, they, or, or somebody's worried about this call, this communication. But something something is taking off. Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Moon card. What is this Eight of Wands? Yeah, the Star card. Yeah, the Five of Wands. What is this? Something is blowing up. What's the Chariot in the Tower? Yeah, it's good news, though. You have the Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. Something is good news or something. What's the Tower in the, in the um, Chariot? Something something that you're worried about. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Okay, money. So money, okay. And the Ten of Cups. So you're happy. The Nine of Cups, you're getting what you want. You're happy. I feel like something blows up or something something is like overnight or you're okay. There's your energy, the sun card. You seem to be happy. You're getting what you want. Ten of cups, nine of cups. You're still happy. Something is working out for you here. The king of pentacles, eight of wands. So I don't I don't know what, what this is. You have the justice. You're getting justice here. Okay? In a situation, something's going to blow up or something's going to be lucrative here. Yeah, the three of swords and the world card. Something is over. The confusion or something... Could be dealing with a Libra 
Yeah, the emperor and the empress. Wow. Your divine counterpart here. You're getting justice and love or a situation or something that closes out or ends. It brings this. Yeah, the judgment or you're being called to come together with someone. Some, justice is being served in a situation. Your money. Something is coming in here. Because something could be disappointing. All right, yeah, but there's going to be, uh, yeah, the will of fortune or someone else is disappointed. Someone's worried here. Yeah, something's going to change in your fortune for the better in your career. Yeah, the emperor and the empress. I'm, pull, I'm getting, you're pulling heavy energy here. Yeah, something is your calling, Leo. With the judgment, the emperor and the empress, this could be you. This, you could be pulling both of these energies. You could be, you could have the perfect blending, uh, the perfect blending of masculine and feminine energy here. Or someone's being brought into your life. You're being aligned to be with someone. Something is, yeah, something is your calling or you're being called to be with this person. But I'm getting an influx in your pace. Something is, something is taking off here with the Eight of Wands. It's time or it's destiny. I'm getting this energy. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. There you are confident. Yeah, you have a reason to celebrate the Three of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Or there's this reconciliation. Oh, my gosh. The sun. You're so happy here, Leo. So I don't know what this is with the tower in the chair. Yeah, that there, yeah so this is somebody that lost you. If something blows up or something ends or there's a breakup or there's someone's worried about something here. I'm getting you're quiet or you're indifferent or you don't care or, or somebody lost you here. What's the Five of Cups? What is this five of cups here, the queen of swords? So this could be a platonic friend, or maybe you're setting boundaries here, Leo. You're like, no. Or maybe you know the truth about, yeah, the king to the queen of swords. That's what I'm saying, like a platonic friend, the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah. What's the queen of swords? Yeah, the world card. Something is complete. It's over. You have learned something. You have mastered something. Something is a loss or something is over. So this could be, yeah, this could be, yeah, the six of swords. You're moving on. And the moon card and the four of swords and the two of swords. Yeah, you're moving on or, or it's time to, a, a cycle is closed or something is over. Yeah, with the cancer you're moving on from, you're not speaking to something, just goes cold. What's the chariot? I feel like somebody's worried about this. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody in your family. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So this could be in the Six of Wands. So I'm getting like a lot of um, success and recognition. This is money coming in. We have 666, a lot of support. Okay, this is money, success and recognition here. Or, some, or, or someone's going to give you this money or I, I don't know. Yeah, the seven of swords, the high priestess. Somebody knows you know the truth about something or you or you know something here. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. What's the ten of pentacles? But something is abundant here. Yeah, the two of cups. So this could be a, with the cancer in your family, a family member. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity is coming in for you. Something or, or, or somebody's going to gift you something. I feel like a grand, a thousand dollars or more. I feel like somebody doesn't want to lose you. Somebody could be worried about this. You have the Devil, Ten of Wands. Somebody's obsessing over this or stressed. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. This could be a friend or I don't know, Leo. But something is giving me, I don't know. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So an apology. Someone wants to apologize or make amends or they're sorry. Somebody's going to give you something like $1,000 or more. They, they, they want to... Because with the tower, that's like a breakup or an ending or something like that. I'm getting you're very abundant here. You're very abundant. Yeah, 
Yeah, the death card and the three of swords. Yeah, because something has changed. Scorpio energy, something has changed. Or there's been a breakup or an ending. Yeah, here's the breakup. The tower, the three of swords, the death in the world. Something will never be the same. I feel like somebody misses you. They, they're in love with you. They want to offer this to you. They want this opportunity with you. Somebody could be coming towards you. They could be planning this. Somebody's trying to figure out how to, I don't know. This Emperor King of Pentacles could be the same person. Somebody wants a relationship here with you. They want to marry you. They want to be with you. They see you as happiness. They want to reconcile. They feel like you're their match. They feel like you're the one for them, like you're destined for them with this will of fortune here. Somebody feels like they're destined to be with you. Somebody knows that you're their divine counterpart. Yeah, somebody wants to put in work or, or something. Yeah, the death card and the three of swords with the world card. But something is over it changed or something's not going to be the same. Someone's missing you here. It could be a Scorpio. Or a Cancer or somebody with these places or whatever this is. Okay, but I see, um, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wanting to work it out. Oh, yeah, the Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, someone's reconciled, or all of a sudden somebody's DMing you or they're reaching out to you. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the High Priestess with the Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups. I'm also getting something you predicted is coming to, to fruition here. This could even be a proposal. Somebody could be proposing to you. They, they, yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work with you or they want to work it out. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Here's this other opportunity in the Six of Wands. You're going to be very successful here. I feel like a new opportunity that's very successful. Something takes off with the Eight of Wands. This is your justice. Something's very abundant. Because I feel like something, somebody slowed something down. Or somebody has been playing with your money. Or somebody has been doing something grimy behind the scenes. Or whatever the fuck this is, man. I'm getting you standing your ground. That was a good choice. You standing your ground in a situation with this person from the past or with the, who, this cancer, Scorpio, or whatever. That was the best decision that you could make. Because now this is this is bringing in this. This is beautiful here. Okay, something is working out for you. Yeah, regarding your work. I'm, get, I'm getting something that's work, working out. Yeah. If you felt like something was a struggle, you had to work hard for something, you don't. You're the empress. You don't have to work hard for anything. You just move on to something bigger and better. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles is here. Okay, just period. Ten of Cups, new opportunities here. Or somebody, or, or whatever this is. Yeah, the King of Swords. I'm getting you're, you're good at what you do or you're very strategic. You're, you're the King of Swords. You know what's up. The sun card, okay, somebody with a prominent nose, very prominent, yeah. We have the devil card, with, yeah, there's an obsession here. What's the devil? Yeah, the ten of swords, whatever it is, it's over. This obsession or this competition is just, it's dead, yes, because I feel like somebody's like, they're, 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 they're trying to compete with you or they're jealous or they're hateful, but it, it, it ends abruptly. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, and you, you moved on to calmer waters. You're leaving this behind or you, you're just done. Whatever this is, yeah, you're free, full card. Okay, or you're completely detached from the situation. There you are, uh, Leo, Queen of Wands, confident as fuck. All right, and King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, Emperor to the Empress. I just feel like... You're just really, you're really planning for the future and you're really making good decisions here. No matter how hard it is for you to make them, you're smart and you're doing what's best for you. And that's why what's about to happen in this shift and this change and this abundance and whatever else is coming in, that's why it's about to come in because, because um, of the decisions that you're making. Yes, six of swords, six of wands and the six of pentacles or the six of cups, you have a lot of support around you. I'm feeling like star energy, your judgment, your calling. What's the six of wands and the judgment? Something is your calling. Something, something is destined for you. Yeah, the queen of cups and the moons and the eight of swords. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you got a cancer in their head here. They're stuck. They're going crazy. All right. About, you know, whatever this is this offer or whatever. 
Yeah, I knew that was going to come out. Yeah, the star card. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. I'm also getting several people feel connected to you, Leo. Yeah, the page of wands, or they feel a connection with you. Yeah, the three of wands. You have a lot to look forward to. Uh, yeah, the hierophant. To, to be a married or being in a commitment, a relationship, to being devoted to someone, someone being devoted to you. Yeah, major, major, big deal. Three to the two of cups. So somebody is wanting to reconcile. They want to be with you. They only have eyes for you. Someone's madly in love with you. And they've definitely had enough time to really realize this here. So I, I feel beautiful energy here for you, Leos. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, new opportunity. Something's taking off fast. Being supported and loved and protected with all these sixes. Six of um, swords and wands and six of cups is right here. All right. So keep moving forward all right leos i love y'all okay make sure to like comment subscribe share and follow and also follow me on my tiktok at the underscore empress unique